Hi everybody, uh, my name's Steph and today I'm going to bring you another review. I'm going to be showing you another one of my pens from my collection. And what we have here, ladies and gentlemen, is a cross pen. Uh, otherwise known as AT Cross. As you can see, it's in the original box. Um, before we show you the pen, as you can see inside the box there we have the uh, original cross instructions for the pen. If we take the pen from from there like so and what you can see inside is we have the um, a cartridge I believe there should be two cartridges in here there's one there's one missing normally come with two cartridges um, and also it comes with this cross uh, cross converter that can be used for filling it from from an ink bottle okay so everything you have there all the original things are actually in the box Let's show you the pen now. Uh, before we show you the pen, let's just get rid of the case. We'll pop that to one side. And what we have here, ladies and gentlemen, is a beautiful Cross Sentry Mark II. Um, this particular pen, I believe Cross actually began making pens. Um, well, not such pens, but writing writing equipment. They began making them around 1847, um, and then I believe around well, I believe around 1938, um, they actually began making um, fountain pens. Now, this particular one, the Cross Sentry Mark II, is a fountain pen, and it comes in a a beautiful beautiful chrome um, and if you can look so if we can get you a close-up it's got this beautiful beautiful uh, barley corn pattern it's actually a gorgeous pen okay and this pen has actually has actually never been inked in fact the engine turned barley corn pattern is beautiful you can actually feel it to the touch uh, so there's no wear to it or anything like that. Um, as I say, uh, the Cross Sentry, they actually brought out two models. The, cross, the original Cross Sentry uh, didn't have this cap band here. It was slightly thinner as well. Um, this particular one, the Cross Sentry 2, from the top of the cap there to the bottom is approximately... Uh, 136 millimeters, so it's 136 millimeters capped and the diameter of the barrel is approximately 9, nine to 10 millimeters in diameter as I say the original cross sentry was a little bit thinner um, what we have here is the standard cross clip and let's try and show you a close up there as you can see on the clip what we have to the top there is the word cross and with all cross pens to the top of the imprint is actually to the top of the um, the cap there and it reads on this particular one it reads cross USA um, I believe the crop when they were actually when they have this USA they were actually the earlier versions of the pens because in the region of about 1980 um, they began making the cross pens in Ireland so from around about 1980 what you'll actually find is it, it reads cross with the word Ireland underneath and to the top we have this uh, this black plastic stud with um, well, well like a small rounded stud if you like to, to the end which I believe most cr cross pens have okay so hopefully you can see that it's a beautiful pen as I say beautiful engine turn pattern with this uh, this barley corn pattern let's show you inside and what we have here is again the difference between the Mark II and the original Sentry is this section here uh, has got this if you like this ribbon okay whereas I believe the original Sentry uh, was just a, a f well quite a smooth section okay another way of telling the difference is this particular band here is slightly fatter on this uh, Mark II model as opposed to the Mark I the nib is 
I believe it's, well, I'm not actually too sure what it is. Um, I believe it may be chrome or some kind of silver metal. Um, and what it simply says is, is cross on it. Let's try and get you a close up of that. Hopefully you can see that. There we have the nib. Absolutely beautiful nib actually. And to the reverse of the nib we have this plastic feed which as you can see has these uh, these fins underneath it. Okay so I'll just give you a little bit of a close-up if I can on there of the uh, of the feed to the back. I need to catch the lights on it and let's just show you the the nib again here. Hopefully you can you can see the beautiful detail there and this particular one the pen as I say has never been used it's never been inked uh, inside um, it doesn't have no uh, no cartridge or feed um, I don't know if you can actually see that inside there's absolutely no sign at all of any remnants of ink um, as I say, as far as I'm concerned, this particular pen has never been inked. It's brand new. Well, it's not brand new because it's quite an oldish model. Um, it's been discontinued now. But the pen has never been inked. It's in absolutely superb condition. Um, and basically, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Um, that is my Cross or AT Cross Century Mark II. Um, as I say, slightly fatter than the original Sentry uh, model uh, in girth as well. Comes or oh, was made in USA. Imprint reads Cross USA on it, and in absolutely superb condition. Never been inked. A absolutely beautiful pen. Lovely. It's got a nice weight to it as well, but. A very very handsome pen and to be quite honest with you I don't actually think um, this video will, is actually doing the pen any justice. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, as I say this, this pattern to it is very pronounced. It's, it's very pronounced to the touch but a brand spanking new pen never been inked in beautiful condition and what I'd like to say as well is that if anybody's interested uh, this pen is actually for sale. I'm going to be parting company with it. So um, one of you people that are viewing today, hopefully, that are looking to buy a cross pen, uh, maybe maybe the lucky owners. So if you're actually interested in purchasing this pen, if you look down at the bottom here, you can see my site. Click on it there. Um, but I believe I'm actually going to be listing this on a well-known um, online auction site so keep a watch out for it but I will put a notice on my site so um, I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen ladies and gentlemen as much as I enjoy um, owning the pen and as I keep saying don't be shy I've done quite a few um, reviews on eBay there's not a lot of people leaving messages I don't understand why but don't be shy leave a message leave a comment you know what your thoughts are what you may like to see as well um, and as I say have a look on this particular site down here um, I've got some nice bits of information some nice pens for sale there as well um, but for now what I'd like to say is bye now